How's it going everybody, Ben from Base at Mew here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm opening the latest Chinese set. We have Shadow Over the Blue Sky. This one is once again split into two sides, just like Nine Colors Gathering, with this side being the so-called Howl side and this one being the Chaser side. I also thought about maybe making two videos, one where I open these fat booster packs and then one where I open those. I've just decided to just put them both into one video, but we will still start with the with the so-called fat packs i will be able to go through these really really quick because there's only six booster packs um one thing to note there are no more promised super rest i think they stopped doing them with brave enchanting stars so if we do pull a super rare we are in for a for a treat and these sets they are not not very equal or they're not one to one equal to um whatchamacallit, Silver Tempest and Lost Origin, or the Japanese sets with Paradigm Trigger and Lost Abyss. Lost Abyss, actually, funnily enough, Lost Abyss was the first set I ever opened on the channel. Um, I highly recommend you do not go back and watch that video because it is horrible quality. I do like these, these booster boxes right here. I have so many of, not just Chinese booster boxes now, but Japanese and so on. I kind of wish the the English TCG would have kept the form factor that they had. You know, if you look at the base set booster box and like any of them, I actually don't remember when they started doing the design that they have right now, but I, I really don't like the design that they have right now for their booster boxes. I really like the the Japanese design of, of the booster boxes. All right, let's see what we can pull. And this is once again, as per usual, a pack battle. So we'll see which side will win. We'll start off with the Chaser side right here, or the Giratina side, however you want to call it. And we do have a bunch of commons right here, Girafarik. And we will see what we can pull. I'm actually really happy that this one, well, I don't want to say it arrived in time, still took about two and a half weeks, although that seems to be the norm right now. Bought these through Sugar Goo again, and then shipped them with DHL. So, but two and a half weeks, I mean, I think that's fine. Would have liked if they were here a bit quicker, but oh well. Oh well, here is our first holographic with the Mewtwo. That's a lovely illustration. That's a lovely one. First V-Card or a double rare with the Skunk Tank. And our reverse, and another reverse with the clay doll right there. Okay, so only one double rare in that booster pack. And then we'll see what this side will give us. Speaking of Paradigm Trigger, um, I actually opened at the time the best full art trainer in the set, with what, which was the Candace. That was also the second best card in the set at the time. Maybe I can pull Candace again. We shall see. I would love to pull a Chinese alternate art. Because the texture is just, I mean, the texture is the same as the Japanese one. Yes, I know. I keep saying it all the time, but it is the truth. It's the same texture, but way, way cheaper. <laughs> way cheaper. Um, speaking of cheaper, oh, here we go. Our first holographic right there. Another holographic. And a triple rare with the Magnezone V-Star. Anything else? We have a mech mortar with the Electrovire in the background. That's a really cool illustration. Check this one out. Who drew that? Akira Igawa, of course. Akira Igawa is just killing it with the illustrations recently. Have you seen the new Hydragon? I posted it on my channel. The new Hydragon SAR from the upcoming Super Electric Breaker set. That one looks insane. And I feel like, I didn't say it in my post, but I was just thinking it when I saw it. I feel like Akira Igawa is like one of the few artists that can actually make the terrestrialized Pokemon or Pokemon cards look good. Because just look at the Charizard EX from Paldean Fates or Shiny Treasure EX, whichever set you prefer. And I feel like Akira Igawa is like one of those artists that can make those Pokemon look cool. I'm not a huge fan of the of the crowns, to be honest. But there we are. You have another Akira Igawa illustration with the Sea King. Very or King Draw, not Sea King, sorry. With the King Draw, of course. And another double rare with the Curem V. Another reverse. And just another reverse. Cool looking uh, whatchamacallit Absol, but just a reverse nonetheless. I do love the reverses in these in these Chinese sets, though. I think they look pretty neat. 
I actually, I honestly don't know how long this video will take. Um, I mean, these packs are going, are going to go by really quickly. But then we do have these, these really big boxes, which are just blister booster boxes. So to cut out on time, what I might do is it's just, I'm just going to take all of the booster packs out of the blister. And then we can go on from there. Zero Aura by Gosen, that looks really cool. Arcanine. We have a Sunflora, really happy, by Zig. Nice. All of these illustrations, kind of seeing them now again after not having seen them for a really long time. Because this is, of course, Sword and Shield era. Zapdos, look at that one. Isn't that... Hang on, that might be a new Chinese exclusive illustration. I've seen a Zapdos, and I think Crystal Collects also mentioned it. Um, we'll put this one aside, because I don't know if that one is a special one. Here's the other double rare with the Rajileki, and an uncommon reverse. And a another reverse right there with a the Serena. Oh right, I've kind of forgotten about Serena. Honestly, Serena was wait, hang on. No, Serena wasn't in Paradigm Trigger. She wasn't Silver Tempest, but wasn't Serena in another set? Or or am I like misremembering things? Was Serena actually in Paradigm Trigger, and I just don't remember? I know Serena in, in Japanese was also really, really expensive at the time, probably still is. Although what I've noticed though, a lot of the prices, not just for Japanese trainers, have gone down. I've recently looked at the Skyla from um, what we call it, Shining Fates and then obviously from Shiny Star V. And surprisingly, it's still very affordable. I do have a CGC 10 of, of that Serena. So I'm really happy about that in Japanese. Here is the Reggie Gigas double rare, a reverse, and just another reverse. There we go. I'm hoping I'm putting these at the right side and not like, um, whatchamacallit, putting that at the wrong side. But I'm pretty sure I am. If I do get it wrong, I will be pointing it out in editing. So don't worry. But so far, so far, nothing too crazy. I do, I do kind of hoped that they would continue making these um, fat booster boxes at least have a promised super rare. But they've done away with those, so pulling a super rare now is going to be really special in these. I think that's the same for Korean booster boxes, if I remember correctly. Korean booster boxes also don't have a um, promised super rare. So that's something. Or oh, here's the Electrovire, the counterpart to our McMortar that we've pulled earlier. Very cool. Just another one by Akidaigawa. Whatever, whatever she does just looks so good. Oh, here we go. Speaking of Electrovire, here we have an art rare. This one not by Akira Igawa, but it is an art rare. We have Volo as a rare. We have the ho oh that's a really cool one. And just check out the artist once again. Yes, that's why it probably looks so cool. Akira, yo, super rare. Holy moly, an alternate art. I actually pulled a Chinese alternate art, the B Drill V. Yo, okay. Nice. That is really nice. Here's the Volo again. Hang on, let me just put these these aside. Show off the art rare once again. There you go. That's something I forgot to mention earlier. Um, these sets do not just feature cards from Silver Tempest and Lost Origin. They also feature cards from V Star Universe, that you can see right there by the Electrovire. Yo, not... By the way, not promised. Super rares are not promised. So, so far, the Howl site is in the lead. Maybe the Chaser can pull after. Um, I wonder if no promised super rare kind of means that you could potentially pull multiples in one booster box. Don't know. Don't know. Um, once again, these pack battles, I usually show off the value at the end. Um, the only problem is, as I've mentioned in, I think, previous ones, with these Chinese booster boxes, getting the value correctly for most of these is going to be a little bit difficult. But I'll try my best. But, I mean, pulling a super rare and not having a super rare on that side, that still is going to gonna make um, this side pull ahead. Here we have the Frostless with Candace in the background right there. Armaldo, Lapras, very nice clay doll. Let's see. Maybe we can pull a super rare in here as well. That'd be really surprising. Beauty. We have a... What is this one? Tapu Lele, I want to say? We have a Snorlax. 
And we have the Reggie Gigas V Star. I mean, it fits with the Reggie Gigas double rare that we've pulled. Here is the Candace and an Indeedy at the end right there. So far, of course, this side is ahead. Man, I just have to look at the card again. Obviously, I would have never seen these cards before with the Japanese texturing because for these for these um, Sword and Shield alternate arts, I exclusively have them in English because most of them are super expensive, like even more expensive than their English counterpart. Looking at the Moonbryon right there, although the Moonbryon has been picking up in value as of, as of late. I've seen a post by, um, by um, whatchamacallit. I've seen a post on Twitter, and it has been picking up a lot recently. Low punny right there. Oh, Blossom, that looks cute. Very cool looking illustration. A Del Fox. Luxray, also really cool. Love Luxray. Luxray is like one of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. Yes, Gen 4, Diamond Pearl. I just have to think a little bit about that. Serena. Altaria, also another cool one. A, uh, a rare. An Agron rare by Gosen. Here we have the... I never know what these. It's not the semi sage, semi poor, semi. I have no idea. I always mix those up, always mix those three Pokemon up. But here we are, another triple rare V Star card, and let's see. Hopefully, we can pull another super rare on this side right here, or we can pull a super rare on this side. Not another one. Maybe another one on this side. But so far, we shall see. Whalemer, Seal. Let's see, shop it. Really cool looking illustrations. Of course, I've forgotten about most of these because I haven't opened um, the sets they these originally come from in a really long time. Keldio. Let's see, Glalie. Also really like Glalie, kind of weird. I do like some Pokemon that I like might, might, might be considered weird. I really like Octillery as well. Don't know why. Oh, Absol Art Rare. Okay. Absol, that's a really cool one as well, like Absol. Absol right here. And another Absol. Okay, double rare Sneasler. And a Kingdra at the end. Okay, so two pulls. Unfortunately, though, still no super rare on this side. But then again, we do have a bunch of packs left right there. Let's see. We're almost done to the wire. I'm kind of looking at the time of this video. And it's like sitting at 13 minutes right now. This will be a pretty long video, kind of similar to my um, last week's video, to last week's video. You know, where I wait um, Paldea Evolved and actually end up being weighable, at least for the, for the super rares, if you have any, or, sorry, special illustration rares. Because they're not called super rares in, in English different terminology. I wonder if they ever adapt the Japanese terminology. I mean, they've adapted the the gray borders. Why not adapt the, the rarities as well? Ooh, Radiant cards. Kind of forgotten about these. Serena. Very nice. That might mean that we get one in here as well. Um, Miltank. We have a Raikou. Very nice. What the frick? A second super rare? A second alternate art? Are you serious? Wait a second. Okay, let me just put this down. Put this one down. And let me just check. I've just, yeah, I've opened this site. I was just a little bit confused. Wait a second. Okay. That confirms it. You can pull two alternate arts in the same fat booster box. Because they are not promised anymore. You can pull more than one. Holy moly, are you serious? The Galarian Meowth V alternate art. Look at how happy he looks. Look at him. Look at him, this is me after the opening, smiling from side to side. Lovely stuff, absolutely lovely stuff. Who could have thought this would happen? Pulling two alternate arts, yes, but not from the same set. Wow, Lugia is pulling ahead. Maybe, maybe Lost Origin, oh sorry, not Lost Origin. Maybe the Chaser site can pull after. Let's go through these comments real quick right here and see what we can 
maybe we do have a super rain here as well. So far, though, this opening has been really, really successful. Man, two super rares from the same set as well. From the same booster box, not just the same set. From the same booster box. That's insane. I've never had that happen. Never. I actually come to think of it, I have never pulled an alternate art. Here's the Radiant card for this side with the Eternatus. Very nice. A rare Giratina, double rare. And an Aerodactyl, triple rare. And that's it. Okay, so unfortunately, no super rare on, on the Chaser side so far. So let me just put these over right here, and of course, this site is ahead for now. Maybe that will change, you know, it all depends on the kind of pull that we do get. If we get really, really lucky, and we pull the Giratina alternate art, then that would of course catapult this site ahead. Man, okay. That's also, that's also really, really cool, because I want to send these in for grading anyways. I needed a few more cards. I can see just about that the centering isn't perfect, so they're probably not going to get 10s. Maybe they scribed by as a CGC 10, but... Alright, sorry about that. My lights just went out for some reason. I have them hooked up to a power bank, and they just went out. Don't know if that's caught on video. I was in the middle of a sentence. And hopefully we don't miss anything. Like, if there's a super rare in here right now... Oh my god. I was just gonna say, if there is anything in here right now, people are gonna say that I put it here. A hyper rare. Are you s what the frick is this booster box? What the? Okay, let me just get this straight. So from one booster box, let me just one fat booster box of the Howl site, the Lugia site, if you want to call it. It's just called Lugia site. That's a bit easier. We pulled not only two super rares, two alternate arts. We also pulled a stinking hyper rare Lugia. Look at that shine of that card. Wow. Yo, I've kind of forgotten how cool Japanese Hyper Rares look. Man, they look ten times better than the Hyper Rares we got in English. Really, really nice. Okay, well, I was just about to say I had to cut because my lights went out, and now if there is a pull in there, people are gonna accuse me of putting it there on purpose. Ah, man. Suffering from success, I'll tell you. All right, all sleeved up. So far, the Howl site is ahead by far, of course. Um, but we still have these two boxes left right here. Tell you what, let me just open up one so you can see exactly what I mean by blister booster boxes. So, rip it open right here. Bam. I kind of don't like opening these because, well, it takes forever to actually open the packs, because they're all individually packed. And, I don't know, I feel like a fat booster box is just a better a better deal, I feel like. Um, right here, there we go. And, as you can see right here, blisters galore. Like, check this out. Yo, okay. Check out that real big pile of blisters, and all individually packed, really hard to get out, I mean, that's just a pull tip. So, this is what these are, both of these, right here. So let me just get all of the packs out of their blisters, and then we'll continue the opening, because it will just take way too much time otherwise. Alright, and here we are with the booster packs, so we have 24 more booster packs on each side. These ones only being, like, the slim booster packs, as you can see right there. Five cards in each booster pack, so without further ado, let's jump straight into this one. It took me a good 20 to 30 minutes to get all of these packs out of the, out of the blisters, and then to sort them all. I think at one point I just took some scissors, and that was way faster than just manually ripping the packs or the blisters and then taking them out. Uh, yeah, I think... I think this is all gonna be in one video, but I think if I do one of these openings again, which I might, actually which I will, because I do like these Chinese sets, uh, I might just split it into two parts, one where I open the fat booster boxes, and then the other part where I open the the so-called blister booster boxes. As I said, I, I just really don't like the blister booster boxes because they, well, Hyper Rare Giratina V-Star. Maybe I do like these blister booster boxes. Maybe I do. Okay, that's the best pull on this side by far. 
like right now, let's put this right here. Giratina Hyper, actually, let me, let me show this to you up close. So we have pulled the Lugia, and now we've pulled the Giratina, look at that. Man, they are a bit off-centered, which is a little bit of a shame. I'm still gonna plan to sending these into grading anyways, because I do need 25 cards to use the Balak tier. Right, but they're probably not gonna get high grades, but that's fine. I still like those cards. Let's see what we have here. Nope, just a reverse. Here's the Serena again. I mean, if we keep seeing the Serena common or uncommon, that might mean that Serena is actually in here as well. I could have sworn Serena wasn't in Paradigm Trigger, but I, I might have been wrong. Like, I might be misremembering things. Might be Spinda. And just a pre-evolution Dragapult right here. Okay. Okay, all right, okay. I mean, we've already pulled two alternate arts. So yeah, as I as I mentioned, really don't like these blister booster boxes. Because they, they take so much time to just open to just get the packs. And then the packs have, well, five cards, just like a Japanese booster box would. And you still don't get promised super rares. So I think, I think fat booster boxes are the way to go if you're trying to get into the Chinese boxes, or just buying Chinese packs in general, gen Chinese sets. Um, I highly recommend you check out my video on how to buy sets like these. I, al I always buy them off Taobao, uh, using Sugar Goo, and it's so easy to do, like anyone can do it, believe me. If I can do it, then you can do it too. Here's the Zapdos again, very nice. Yan Mega, and another Electrovire right here. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, if we're just looking at the Slim Booster box right here, then of course... Then of course, the Chaser site is in the lead, or the Giratina site. I, just could just, I should just call them Giratina site. It'd be much easier to differentiate. I still don't know if my translate tool is even correct. That these signs, that this sign means Chaser and this one means Howl. Um, don't know. I do love the names of not just these Chinese sets. But like the, the Japanese sets as well, they always have... Yo, Super Rare Volo! What is it with this set? This is on this side as well. Okay. The Volo, Super Rare. Full Art Trainer up in this. Let me just check. Again, yeah, it was on this side again. It was on the Howl side again. Another Super Rare. This time around to Full Art Trainer. Man, okay. Well, if this continues, then this site will win for sure. Wow, okay. Okay, maybe we can pull... I mean, I don't mean to be greedy. We've already gotten more than I have hoped for. But maybe we can pull one super rare on this side as well. On the chaser side. Giratina side, sorry. Giratina side. That would make me very happy. But there we are. So yeah, just check out my video that I did a while ago on how to buy these sets right there. Or, not affiliated at all, you could also use um, Crystal Collect's store if you want to. I know she also sells them. Here is the Magnazone V-Star. I'll just put you over right here and the Metang right there. A few more things that I wanted to talk about. I have actually... I know I said it in one of my other videos. It might have been the cheap card video that I did a little while ago, where also at the end of it I mentioned the Friends in Alola, the Chinese one. And I think I said, maybe kind of jokingly, that I want to buy like 18 copies of that card and just stick it in my binder because I want to have one whole page just of that card. And um, yeah, I kind of did that. I kind of bought 18 copies of that card. Also off Taobao and through Sugar Goo, although I haven't shipped them yet. I'm still waiting for my... Um, or for the fifth anniversary traditional Chinese set to release. I think those release um, October 25th. So I'm waiting for those to, to like get stocked. And then I will ship out the cards together with those two. Um, what I might do though, since as I said, DHL takes a little bit longer. What I might do, you know, to open it real quick. I might just send one box because I bought two of the of the traditional um, gift boxes, the traditional Chinese gift boxes, fifth anniversary, traditional Chinese gift boxes. There you go. I bought two of them, 
and I might just ship out one of them with FedEx because that usually arrives in like two to four days right here and then just ship the other one with um, what you may call it with um, DHL you know just so I can open one in time and then the other one the other one is just for the collection anyway so I'm not in in a time constraint not to like to open them real quick uh, the set itself is actually um, I don't know, I think the first anniversary simplified Chinese set was definitely way better, or the gift box, sorry. The gift box was definitely way better, because for the traditional Chinese, all you get, I say all you get, you get this really cool Pikachu promo, of course, which is the highlight of that whole collection. But you get a booster box of um, Super Electric Breaker, I think that's the latest Japanese set. The one that features that sick Hydreigon I posted the other day, and of course Pikachu. And you just get one booster box and then a bit of little bit of extra, like sleeves, booster boxes, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, I think the first anniversary simplified Chinese set was actually way better. Because you get like so many different sets. Well, you get basically all the sets that have been released up until then for that Chinese set. So that's why the first anniversary gift box is so cool. And of course, you get the most important part, of course, of that gift box, which is why everyone was after that gift box. You get the friends in Alola card. You get the friends in Alola card in that gift box. Man, what a cool product. I really hope the Pokemon company just does products like those in, in English as well. Just release some of the cards that have never been released in English, just release them in a gift box. Ah, <sighs> that would mess with the value of all these other cards though, like for sure. I've seen, like I, I didn't actually think it would affect the Japanese price as much, but when, whatchamacallit, when the Friends in Alola card was released in Chinese, the Japanese card took a price to drop and an immense price drop at that. I didn't actually think it would affect it as much as it did, but yeah. It, it totally did. Like, for sure. Did not expect that at all. I haven't pulled anything here. Let's see if we can't pull something in this one right here. There we go, drowsy, just dreaming. Bonnet. A dugong and a mirror. But there we are. I mean, we still have, or we already have, more than I could have hoped for. More than I could have hoped for. All right. Let's see. Durant. Got a Mel Tank. Got a Sunfloor. Really happy. And a, what is this, Builder, I think? It's in the underground, in the, like, Diamond and Pearl underground right there. But there we are. So yeah, I bought like 18 copies of that Friends in Alola card because that's how much I like that card. And I also reorganized my binder. I have now, I actually, I have everything planned out in my binder now. It's still missing quite a few cards though, mind you. But I have everything planned out. I just need to go out and buy the cards that I'm missing, which is easier said than done. Because some of the cards that I'm missing are the gold stars. I'm actually missing nine gold stars from my binder. It's not all the gold stars, mind you. I just want nine gold stars because, you know, they are also... Not only are they Gen 3 Pokemon that I want, you know, Gro Groudon, Kyogre, um, Rayquaza, Latias, Latios, and then the three Regis. They are Gen 3 Pokemon, but they are also released during G the Gen 3 era, you know. If we don't count the reprints, I actually only have a single gold star, which is the Mew gold star in Japanese. And that's in a CGC 6.5, so nothing, nothing too impressive. What's so unlimited, like, not first edition. But it is still in the old CGC label, like it still has that blue CGC label. And I will probably never change that. Because that blue CGC label goes well together so well with that blue Mew. Like, for sure, it looks so good in that combo. It looks so good. Yo, another Radiant card, Radiant Jirachi. Very nice. Once again on the Howl side. And a Stunfisk right there. Let's put you right there, Jirachi. Another Gen 3 Pokemon up in this. So far, nothing too impressive. Still, 
Like the only really good thing we've pulled on the chaser side here is a Medicham or Meditite munching on some bears. The only really good thing we've pulled on the chaser side is that Hyper Rare. <laughs> the Giratina V Star Hyper Rare. So far, though, the Howl side, the Lugia side, sorry, Lugia side, is a hit by a huge amount. Two alternate arts and a full art trainer. I think the only way that the Chaser side, Giratina side, can pull it back would be by pulling the cover Pokemon in the alternate art form. The Giratina, of course. Majorana right there. Man, oh man. So far though, I have a... I've had a lot of fun with this opening. This was one of my better ones, for sure. Two alternate arts? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, I did pull two special illustration rares in my last video, but the alternate arts are just something... something special, man. The alternate arts are just something special. I don't know. They feel a little bit more special than the special illustration rares. And now that I have exchanged my English Special Illustration Rares for Japanese ones, I really don't feel the hype anymore with the English sets. I mean, I will still be really happy if I pull one, don't get me wrong, but normally I would just put it in my binder, because I would need that for my collection anyways, right? But now that I've changed them out for Japanese ones, and I do intend to complete the collection with Japanese alternate arts, or special illustration rares, sorry, special illustration rares, um, the thing that I do now with these, with the English ones that I do pull, I just end up selling them, which is a real shame. Because pulling a card yourself is something different than just buying them. And I know what I'm talking about. I did pull the Umbreon. V Max. Here's the Giratina V. Goes together very well with our Giratina V Star. Maybe we can summon Giratina. Although, isn't Giratina like literally Satan? Maybe we don't want to summon Giratina. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we summon Lugia instead. Maybe we summon Lugia instead. Okay. Yeah, like pulling a card yourself is definitely something really special. I wouldn't go out of my way to like buy multiple booster boxes or something like that to pull a card for sure. I mean, I'd still end up buying the card if I don't pull it. Then again, you wouldn't really assume like by my channel that I don't open a lot of products, but yeah, apart from what I do open on the channel, I don't open anything in my free time. I'd rather just, you know, peruse card market and all the other sites to find some cheap cards that I can buy for my collection. Recently missed out, oh, I think I've talked about this on Twitter, I've recently missed out on a really, really good deal on a Tyranitar EX, like the the OG Tyranitar EX from like 2006 or something. I did say, I think I said it in my last video that I actually do have it in, in the mail, but no, that was wrong. I thought I had bought it, but I didn't. So for the next mail day, which I'm still waiting for a few more packages, unfortunately no Tyranitar EX, but that's okay though, we still have a bunch of other cool cards in that mail day. Yo, Radiant Alakazam, that's one of the better ones, nice. Love that Radiant Alakazam. Radiant Alakazam, we're down to the wire right here. I mean, if nothing too crazy happens, then Howl will just take it away from Chaser, or Lugia will just take it away from Giratina. Here is the Zashian V, Meowth and an Arcanine at the end right there. Let's put the Zashian right there, I haven't pulled that one before. That's a really cool looking illustration. There we go, only a handful of booster packs left on each side. And then we are done. A little bit of a longer video, I know I said in, in some of my other videos that I do want to keep them shorter, but Ah, what else? What are you gonna do, more while? Medicham and a Keldeo right there. Let's see. Anything else I do want to talk about? I mean, I would like to talk about the 1000 subscriber special, but um, subscriber growth has kind of stagnated now. It was growing kind of fast for a while there, and now it has kind of like stagnated. Um, if I do hit 1,000 subscribers, hoping to do that by the end of the year, or before the end of the year, of course. Let me actually open one more on this side. 
hoping to do that before the end of the year. And I do have a few specials planned out. I will have a poll on my YouTube channel about which one I will do. So if I do hit them, or if I tell you what, if I see that I'm close to hitting the 1000 subscribers, I will open the poll on the channel and then you can vote whichever one you want to see as a special. I have something really cool planned out, or multiple things really cool planned out. And don't worry, even if the option you voted for lost in the end, I might still do that video later down the line. Yo, Dragonite V-Star, okay. Nice, not too shabby. Dragonite and a Lapras. First time pulling that one. But I, I kind of did that. I think I had like a poll of an upcoming video where I like voted for... What was vote? Oh yeah, right, for my birthday special. I think the vote was like between... Yo, ultra rare! Golden Metal Energy! What is it with the Lugia side? Okay. Well, so far the Lugia side is just... I mean, if the Giratina side is right here, then the Lugia side is like right here. It just keeps climbing, man. There's no way for the for the Giratina side to catch it. So yeah, for my birthday special, I did have a poll up, uh, either opening like two Ultra Premium collections, like the 151 and the Charizard one, and I think the other option was um, Paldean Fates versus Shiny Treasure EX, and I did end up doing that video later on anyways, so there we are, because if the idea is cool enough, I might do it anyways, but... We'll see. Still a little bit away from a thousand subscribers. Still a little bit away. Baniri. We have a Salazzle. We have a... Layron at the end there. Okay. Okay. Two last booster packs right here. Two last booster packs right here. If I can get this open. This one is really hard to open. So maybe that means there is something really, really good inside right here. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, this is the last chance for the Giratina side to pull something really special. A holographic and a relicant at the end there. Nope. Seems like that the Howl side won by a landslide. Let's see what we can find in this last pack right here. Let's see what we can find in this last pack right here. Lantern. We have a Venonat. And... Nope. Okay. I mean, I just look at the polls right here. I don't even have to say anything. i kind of forgotten about the Lugia, not gonna lie. I'm kind of happy that I pulled both the Lugia and the Giratina. Like, look at that, but yeah. It's like, it's like no contest, right? It's like no contest at all to, to see which side won. Um, I might have the values down right here somewhere, and yeah, this side won. Like, there, it's not even a competition at this point, right? But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't, then give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button, click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below, and I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.